Welcome back, everybody. 617 is the time you know each spring. Members of the U.S. House of Representatives sponsor a prestigious congressional art contest, an opportunity to recognize and encourage the artistic talents of our youth as well as promote art education across the country. For one talented teen, it means having her work displayed in a busy corridor of the U.S. Capitol building and a round trip to our nation's capital. And uh, let's welcome them, them right now to the morning show. Hey, thank you for being here. First of all, Good Congresswoman <laughs> Maisie Hirono. And we want to call you Gia, right? Our uh, Kahuku High School senior, Gialana, or senior Gialana Borges. Congratulations. You must be hey. awfully excited. Yes, I'm very excited. Well, let's talk about a little bit of what this is. Now, you have a winning piece, and I know we actually have a copy of the piece of art that you came up with. Tell us about it and what was the inspiration for you to come up with this piece of art? Well, um, I live with my three little sisters and I have um, five little cousins living next door so they're um, a real inspiration to me. I always take pictures of them and we were just at the beach one day and um, I took a picture of them looking into a tide pool. And, and Maisie, tell uh, her congresswoman, excuse me, I know <laughs> oh, I know you well. Maisie, okay, it's, but it's okay. <laughs> tell us more about the, con the, the contest itself and what has really prompted the House of Representatives to, to really this get behind this. This contest has been going on for a number of years now, and I want to continue it, especially as I'm such a tremendous supporter of the arts, and it is a way for our young people to be creative, and especially now with everything that's going on, the changes, creativity is one of the ways that I think our young people can really contend with all of of the changes that, that are occurring, especially now. Uh, and, and so uh, I am a, a proud sponsor of the art contest. We've been doing it ever since I got elected and it preceded me. But Gia is very talented because if you look at her piece, and it's a little bit hard to see on the TV, but when I looked at it, I really was taken by it because it's very, uh, it's, comp it's complex, it's v well executed. Uh, and it's actually in a re reflection. I know that it's hard to take a picture of in a reflection where the yeah. photographer's shadow is not in there. So it's just f terrific. And, and for you, Gia, Sister. what was your reaction? And have you ever been to Washington? You get to go now. No, I had never been to Washington. I'm very excited. I was really surprised. That was, yeah, I um, didn't know that I, my piece would win. Well, I, it's just really exciting. Congratulations. Thank I want you to you. enjoy it. Uh, Congresswoman, obviously we can't have you here without talking a little bit about politics. Yes. And <laughs> of course, well, you know, we have to talk about that. And uh, a Mr. Billion Obama. billion dollars coming to yeah, Hawaii a at a time billion where dollars, we're facing well, it, a huge it, As we just mentioned earlier in this newscast, uh, six, eight hundred thousand dollars a week. Uh, is the stimulus package starting to work? There's some mixed signals and some economists saying they're starting to see some benefits happening. Which now. is a good thing because this is a huge complicated uh, situation we're in. It's worldwide and uh, we don't have a magic bullet. Not one thing, single thing is going to work. So we need to look at how all of these pieces are going to move our economy forward. And we are seeing some signs clearly for Hawaii over a billion dollars coming to Hawaii is going to make a huge impact. And the, earlier this week, I was at Punalo Bridge where 17 million in the stimulus package was go, will go toward creating some 200 jobs. And this is real money, real jobs, and that's what the stimulus or the recovery bill was supposed to do. So it's having an impact. And believe me, as I travel all across my district, People are saying, thank goodness for the money that's coming in from the federal programs because uh, there are a lot of people in the construction industry, as you mm -hmm. know, who are sitting on the bench. I mean, we need to bring in all the help we can get. All right. Well, uh, there are some signs of silver linings out there, but obviously uh, we're not by any stretch yes. of the imagination it's out of a recession. Take, so It's going to take a while, we are, we, and we're in this together. I think the more people are creative and work together, that's how we're going to deal with it. Not Keep to mention, we need to get energy self-sufficient in exactly. Hawaii. Exactly. <laughs> we're on our way. Speaking, Thought I'd throw yeah. that in. <laughs> and speaking of creativity, Gialana Borges of Kahuku High, congratulations to you. You're going to Washington. Thank yes. You. All right. Thank you both very much for joining us, Congresswoman. And stick around because for more information on how the stimulus money is helping folks here in Hawaii, you can go to our website at khnl.com. Right now, we want to head back outside of the roadways to check on our traffic with Danielle Tucker. Thanks, Dash. And heading into the H1H to merge, we're backed up all the way to the Kunia on ramp because of that earlier accident. You can see it's really slow 
making your way in from the west side, from central Oahu. You can check out those headlights way up past the Waianae exit into the H1H to merge. Where do we get some relief from this traffic? Right after the Waimalu on-ramp. But still, it's busy as you make your way through Aiea. Middle Street merge still passing Ola Lane just barely. Coming across to Ko'olau on the Pali Highway and the Like Like. If you're heading out the door, it's still looking good for you, just like it does from East Oahu. From the city and county of Honolulu, Traffic Management Center, I'm Danielle Tucker for KHNL News 8. And we'll start you off this morning with some pretty severe weather across the mainland. Very warm temperatures. Here's a look at the extreme weather we are looking at in Southern California. A record-breaking heat wave settled in the San Fernando Valley this weekend. Temperatures peaked in the 90 degree mark, which is very unusual this time of year. And if you do plan to head there this week, you can expect more warm weather today. Even expect temperatures in the hundreds, but they will begin to cool down by the end of the week. And in Alabama, check it out. Strong, strong storms ripped through the region. So far, officials say the storms killed at least two people, and at this time, it's unknown if any tornadoes did touch down. We will continue to monitor that storm and bring you the latest throughout the morning. And in the forecast in paradise today, well, we're looking at an approaching cold front. It's going to bring more clouds as well as more showers to the state. It started yesterday at about sunset. You can see this cloud band making its way down the islands. We're now seeing another cloud band making its way down the islands now associated with that cold front. It's cloudy conditions even some locally heavy rainfall expected. So expect scattered showers throughout the day, even with haze for the southern end of the island chain. Out of out ahead of that cold front, we'll see light variable winds. Then behind it, we'll see northeasterly winds around 10 to about 20 miles per hour for Tuesday as that cold front makes its way down the island chain. We'll continue to see clouds and showers, but heading into the second half of our work week, expect partly cloudy conditions with light variable winds around 5 to 15.